Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to make a photo that looks like this out of something like this. Now, I am giving you guys kind of a base from where to work with. Like, I'm not showing you, I'm not telling you this is the only way to do it because I, I want to encourage people to experiment on Lightroom, uh, come up with their own things. But I always think it's helpful to give people like a push, kind of a general idea of what to do and what to go from there. So I won't be showing everything I do, but I'll show in general what I do. Now, first we have uh, Lightroom here. And uh, what I like to do is first start with a temperature, find something white. Um, so here we go. It's about 5200, which is generally where I keep the temperature of these kind of videos, but later we might have to change it. We'll see, but in general, around 4800 to 5200 for these kind of pictures. Now, the main thing we're gonna do is go down to the split toning right here. So what you wanna do is change the highlights to some kind of blue tone because we're going for like the whole Blade Runner-ish look, right? So I'm gonna leave it at here because I like the little teal. If you look at it, like the old posters of Blade Runner, there's always like teal and blues. And uh, now we're gonna go down to the uh, to the shadows. You want some kind of purple or violet. So we're just gonna eyeball it, you know. Uh, this looks this looks about right. Now, this is not perfect. This is like one of those things you're gonna go back and forth to see what you like best. And uh, we're gonna play around with the balance here. So go this way, it turns too, a little too purple. You turn over here, you get a little bit better balance. So I just eyeball things, so not perfect. Just kind of what, what I like. And I guess something like that. So this just gives you a general base, right? Of where to work with. Now, what do I do from here? Usually, um, I start going to the highlights. So I like to decrease the highlights and then I'm gonna increase the shadows. So it's kind of an HDR effect, you know? And from there, increase the white. So I'm going to press J. You can see the red shows up. It tells me if something is overblown. I try not to overblow too much, just enough. All right. So next, I'm going to go to the blacks, decrease them until you have a fair amount of black, and not too much. I try not to go below 20. So now our picture is starting to look much better. You can press J again. And actually, I don't like too much clarity. You know, people tend to jack up the clarity. I tend to go backwards because it makes the, the, the lights more softer, not too much. So. I like to go like negative 15, you know, you can see the difference. It gives you kind of like a foggier look. And generally I don't mess with vibrance and saturation that much because um, I don't really think you need it. It's already pretty vibrant. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, since this is night photography and you are shooting at a much higher ISO than normal. Here is ISO 3200, F4. I always uh, increase luminance around 40. And uh, it doesn't look like I need to mess with the color much. So 25. Now I am gonna sharpen this. And I like the settings from SLR Lounge. I've been using them since I've started photography, so 70, 
point five, ten, thirty. So that gives a nice sharp to it sharpness to it. And I would say that's about it, but that's not because I do I do like when my brights are nice and bright. So we're gonna brush a little bit. I have this brush with the highlights. Basically, I just increase the highlights a little bit more. And we're just going to brush right along here. Get, make a little vibrant down there. You can see the colors popping. And we're going to do a little bit of on the light too, right here. There we go. So, in general, that's what I do. I go towards the light areas. I give it a little bit more of a pop. Sometimes I'll increase the exposure a little bit, but not too much, you know, that's too crazy. Just something reasonable. And there you go. So, I know this style of photography is not for everybody, but I know there's people out there who want to learn how to do it. And uh, I'm just giving you a base from which you guys to work on. Like, I don't wanna, I don't want you to do this every single picture. It's just an idea of what goes into making a picture like this, you know? Uh, maybe a little contrast or make the blacks blacker. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoying these uh, videos, these tutorials, and uh, if you would please subscribe, I'd be very grateful. So yeah, have a good one and see you next time.